gosh. It's about to blow everyone's mind. Most people think we detect flavor only on the tongue, but it's not so. To prove this, we took a white wine, poured two glasses, and dyed one red. Then did a blind taste test. Ooh, it's a red one. Yeah. This tastes like um, the like generic, like just like red wine. This tastes like a little grapey berry. A little grapey berry. I'm not a wine snob, all right? I'll drink it. If you, if you give it to me in a box, I'll drink it. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm into it. Oh, I'm red. I was born ready to drink wine. This is similar to the first wine in that it's like super fucking abrasive, uh, but this one I'm not as into. When I think white wine, I think of my grandma, and I'm not a grandma, and I don't like white wine, so. I like the red wine more. Oh, that's bad. That tastes like, it actually tastes like, like stale beer almost. So, they're the same wine. What? What do you mean, this, the, like the red and white version of the same like brand? What? How are they the same wine? They taste different. Now I'm starting to think they're like all the same wine with like different food coloring. Yeah, they're the same thing. <laughs> they are the same wine. <laughs> they shouldn't feel bad, because even wine experts were fooled by this classic test. This is because taste is not just about taste buds. Flavor is determined by multiple sensory inputs being interpreted by the brain. Vision, smell, and texture can all play a role in taste. Just something to think about over your next glass of Merlot. Yep, this one still tastes better to me though. That's crazy. That blew my mind a little bit.